Okay, so what comes inside the box? Well, you get your normal manual, what the device is, and you get the beautiful smartphone device, a battery to power it up, the USB charging, as well as the adapter to charge it up. All right, guys, so let's get to it. Now, the new LG G3 flagship sports 5.5 inch 1440 by 2560 pixel resolution screen, which provides a super crisp 538 pixels per inch. Now, this device is powered by Android 4.4 KitKat and comes with a quad core Snapdragon 801 processor with 3 gigs of LP WDR3 RAM. It features 32 gigs of an internal storage and a micro SD slot for expansion. The main 13 megapixel rear shooter comes with its company's improved optical image stabilization feature and has a laser autofocus assist beam which delivers fast focus even in low light scenarios. The 2.1 megapixel front facing cam comes with a enhanced selfie mode. So let's take a closer look at the device. All right, guys, so let's take a closer look at the LG G3 smartphone device. Uh, so far, I'm loving the design. I'm loving the, it's really light. Uh, like I said before, the operating system that it comes with is Android version 4.4.2. Um, the dimensions of the device is about 5.76 inches by 2.94 inches. And the weight is a whopping 5.62 ounces, which is extremely light. I think it's so light because it's plastic. It's made out of plastic. Um, display, the physical size is actually 5.5 inches. And the resolution is 1440 by 2560 pixels. So that's pretty good. Uh, the camera on the back side is about 13 megapixels. And it actually has a dual LED. Uh, aperture for the camera section uh, which is pretty cool the aperture is the focus of 2.4 so you get that nice uh, autofocus and blurry background if you're into that uh, the camcorder version you can actually record um, 4k as well as 1080p I don't know if you could actually record 720p as of yet on this device when I was playing around with the recording it didn't really give me an option to you know mess around with uh, the features within the recording so there's other features like the mode I kind of find interesting the dual mode and, and magic focus I'm gonna start playing around with that and later on in the video I'm gonna show you guys what those things are uh, the LG G3 has digital image stabilization where it helps you from shaking like I'm always I'm a shaky person for some reason <laughs> and uh, another thing it, it has high dynamic range mode which is HDR a lot of a lot of the smartphones nowadays do have that feature so I'm not really stressing that out because again the iPhone and the S5 have those features already now the front facing camera is actually 2.1 megapixels I mean I kind of interested in that because a lot of smartphones don't go up higher than 2 megapixels or 1.5 megapixels and the LG G3 actually goes to 2.1 so I gotta play around with that and let's get into the hardware portion of this now the hardware portion on this particular guy again the smart the system chip is actually a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 when I was messing around with the operating system you know when I'm swiping and opening up programs it runs extremely fast so that's one of the things that I picked up real quick and I think it's because of the processor the processor does a lot of wonders when it comes to smartphones um, the processor itself is a quad core, which is another plus for me. Uh, graphics processor, I think it's an Adreno uh, 330. I'm kind of surprised that this comes with a pretty good graphics processor. Now, the system memory comes with 3 gigs, and the built in storage again is 32 gigs, which is a lot, a lot of music, a lot of photos that you could download. Plus, you can expand it with the micro SD card, uh, which is also inside of the device. One of the things I love about this is uh, you can actually remove the back part and uh, get uh, into your battery compartment. The best thing about this is that you can always buy an additional battery and then if this one dies out just pop it in and good to go. Uh, I love smartphone devices that the back case are, is removed. 
uh, because uh, you can always, if it's a battery problem, you can replace it. If not, it, you kind of screwed up because then you got to take it to the shop and then they got to do replacement and all that stuff. So it kind of sucks. But uh, other than that, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. It's extremely light. Plastic ugh, is kind of iffy. Uh, I don't know. It, it does the standard uh, micro USB. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to be like the fast charge like the S5 has. But uh, that's it, guys. This is my unboxing review of the LG G3 uh, smartphone device. I'm pretty excited. Again, stay tuned for other videos. I'm going to start playing around a little bit more uh, with, uh, I think, the autofocus and the laser beam as well as some camera features that I saw that I kind of find interesting. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.